because this is a very happy moment isn't it so we need to celebrate it together anil max and tazi can you please open up your microphone and talk because i can't hear you my dear okay Okay, hi Fanan, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Good, good, good. Great to see you. And why I'm not seeing Tazi? I think she she is in some different when I'm actually sitting in office. So she must be there. She was in some hotel or something like where she. Yes, yes, yes. Probably they are arranging the things. Probably. Okay, so Maxin, please do get in touch with Tazi uh, to understand what's happening out there. Okay, Maxin. Hey, Anu, uh, just try to contact uh, Tazi as well, meanwhile. Okay. Yeah, okay, so, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, guys, uh, why we are here? Probably you guys can meet here. I know it comes the other way around when the camera is on. So we are going global. And uh, this, I do think, uh, this is a new to all our students and aspirants and the steady medic family, because we have been expanding globally in all different directions. But I would say this is the first uh, uh, solid step to our neighboring country to help the aspirants to achieve their dreams. and i don't think this was ever possible without our hard working students without our uh, probably somebody who would be uh, like who is having a lot of trust in us okay so i really kazin why can you link me here okay so i don't think this was possible without possible without our hard working students and definitely now once dr tazin has come into the picture a very very hard working dedicated soul computer has made our lives easier to work in uh, our own neighboring country and i'm very glad to say that uh, this association is going to make sure that all the aspirants because as our mission itself is education beyond boundaries our excellence beyond boundaries so we do not believe in any of the boundaries uh to limit ourselves to educate the people and to help them achieve their dreams so this is one such uh probably as this was started as a single step but i'm so so happy that we are going beyond the boundaries literally virtually in whatever way we can and uh, this is helping lots of students to achieve their dreams so we used to get a lot of uh, when we started off our study master gv we had a lots of students who were aspiring for a master gv so that's when also dr tazin came into our picture and we could identify that fcps exams are most difficult actually in many terms because they are very clinical also so we wanted somebody a mentor or uh, a probably a coach who would help them holistically to achieve their dream that's when dr tazin came into the picture i must say she is all the way like she's always there 24 bus 7 you know to help the students and all other fcps mentor take it dr rashida rashida is also there with us for quite a long time and uh, she is also helping the students to achieve their dreams so that is the beauty of our study medic where we have mentors from all different countries all different streams and all different potentials and all diversified teaching styles so today we are here to celebrate our official global association with pakistan so tazin are you able to see me and hear me my dear tazin dr tazin can you hear me okay i mean hi I'm dr somia hi good evening hi, hi, hi. how are you i'm fine sweetie but i can't see your camera on Actually, uh, yeah, there is some problem with the camera. We are checking it. Let me fix it, and uh, you continue. Let me give two minutes, please. Sure, sure, sure. No problem. I let Dr. Rashida talk till then. Like, 
Dr. Rashida has been with us for quite some time. Rashida, are you able to open up your microphone, sweetie? Rashida? Yes, 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 Dr. Sobir, how are you? I am fine, Dia, how are you? I'm yes, fine, I'm fine. thank you. Yeah, can you tell a few words about this association? How is it going? How did it all start with us? Do you want to share your thoughts, please? Uh, it feels wonderful and you know to be a part of a family like study medic mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's like the one of a kind in our place that it's not it was not like this before and nobody has started it like this before so looking forward to it to help more and more students okay and uh, okay. You know, looking forward to stay with study medic have a long term session. Definitely. I don't think this was possible Adhapu. without dedicated mentors like you, Rajda. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I'll, uh, before I come to Kazin, I want Faran to share a few words, Faran. How are you feeling? What's your, uh, like, because of course we have been in discussion for quite a long time. So if you could, Say a few words. And you have a very key role in this, Farhan. Farhan, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. No, see, I'm, in, I'm there to help you guys. So basically, you see, I am a numbers guy and numbers don't have feelings like doctors. So, so I'm uh, like, I mean, but, but I will say that you see, I'm in Pakistan with the population are just in the world, a population of 250 million people. There are some 17,000 students being enrolled in many medical sciences every year and the same proportion is going to be passed out. So as far as the professional education is concerned in Pakistan, that is, I mean, you can at university level, you have a re quite reasonable resources, but as far as professional exams like FCPS or MRCOG or even, I mean, that, uh, for example, my profession is concerned, that is, I mean, again, the same dilemma which is being faced by the students of the developing world. So this is quite good initiative. And uh, I think, I mean, uh, this is a perfect use of technology. So the, in the changing world, this is a quite a good step. And uh, my best wishes are and the full, as far as the technical support is with you guys. So that's all from my side and best of luck to everyone. Thank you, Farhan. Without you, of course, I know like uh, probably Tazin wouldn't have taken this uh, biggest step. And thank you for all the wonderful support. You're such a, a great soul and a kind soul. Thank you so much for being always there for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Tazin, back to you, my dear. Hi, Dr. Somia. Hi. Hi, hi. So this is your day. Finally, we are here. After so many, so much of discussions, everything officially did there. Of course, unofficially, we are working together for quite a long time. So I'll hand over this to you. I was just settling in everything till you come over because this is your baby. So please go ahead, my dear. <laughs> yes, actually, this is my baby. And you know, like the whole day, I am behind FCPS, like what's going on and all, behind study medic, okay, well, you know, and so like whole time I'm doing these things, but somehow, somehow it's been a journey of, you can say one year and five months. And in these 16 months, it seems like a family. Like I'm so much involved in it. I enjoy it. I, uh, whatever the sessions are, this work, it is actually my passion. So that is the reason that I'm so much involved and we are progressing and hopefully, hopefully we will progress more. And as you know, the aim is to be at the top and the passion is to help people. So we will definitely, definitely reach more and more people and we will achieve our goals. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Tazi. I know you will be able to doing it because you are somebody who is very hardworking. And I know we will have a challenges like any other countries. We have challenges digitally, net, internet wise, but we are coming up with the easy solutions like the mobile app. So I'm sure uh, we are going to reach more and more students who want to achieve their dream to reality. 
because we are somebody who are feasible, affordable, and persistent and preservant in our thing. And thank you so much for leading the wonderful team of mentors. I'll be back to you. I think we have Aniko also with us. Anika, you are a new mentor with us. So what are your thoughts? What do you feel about it? Anika, Just a few yes. things from you. Yes, Anika. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello, Dr. Somia. How are you? I'm fine, Chiti. How are you? I'm good. It's lovely being with all of you and working together like a family. I love it. And we'll be doing that in future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, definitely, I know you're a new member of the family, but you've contributed a lot. And I look forward to for you to help the students more and more in the coming days. Yeah, we are there. We'll be working with Dr. Azim. We all are here and we'll work together to make it progress more and more. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, Azim, over to you. I think some of the students are also were supposed to join this celebration. So what about that? You can take actually, it over. Uh, actually, as you know, exams are fast approaching. So not much students, uh, like there are some few students are late or something. We are few people. As it was arranged on, you know, urgent basis and things like that. A few of my colleagues are here. Otherwise, Dr. Rashta and Dr. Anita is with me. Okay, so you want your colleagues to share their feelings, how, what uh, they do expect from us, if any of them is willing to talk? Yes, Dr. Aisha. Okay. Uh, to, uh, Dr. Aisha, uh, Dr. Aisha. Uh, she will talk from Dr. Aisha. Hello, Assalamu Hello, hi. It's Dr. Aisha Malik here. Perfect. Hi, I am here to talk on behalf of Dr. Tazim as I see her every day, study and giving lectures to everyone in the study medics. I am just uh, more and more impressed by her. Uh, she's doing a great job. You all are doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Definitely, uh, Tazim is somebody who is trying to, who has helped us to cross the boundaries literally and virtually in all possible ways. So I just want to tell all the students, all the aspirants, all the champions of Pakistan, we are here to help you guys in whatever way we can. Whether it is, uh, take it a digital innovation, take it your dream, probably you want to achieve more clinical skills. You already have got all the exams passed, but you want to have a refresher training or you want to do anything in your life. Just remember one thing that everything is possible and you shouldn't be limiting yourself. So because I have uh, got, we have got lots and lots of students for FCPS and more and more for MRCUG, MRCPI, EPCOG, EFOG, because lots of students would want to migrate as well. So yes, uh, Tazim, I just want to hear from you, like how do you would like to help your own students to achieve their dream? Just, uh, you know, just a few ideas of yours which would help them to understand where we are going towards. Actually, uh, Dr. Somia here, the major problem which I face, there is no guidance. Like no one is clear that what they have to do, this planning, it actually starts at the undergraduate level. At undergrads level, we should be very clear what we are going to choose for our specialization. When we are in MBBS, our mind should be clear. Okay, I will go in surgery, I will go for medicine, I will go for gynae. Like in my final year MBBS, I decided that I have to go for gynae. In the same way, everyone should be that much clear that this, this will come from study medic. We will work at undergrads level, we will work at postgrads level, and in the post graduation, here in Pakistan, people only know about FCPS. There is no education, there is no guidance that how they have to plan for FOG, how they have to plan for MRCPI, how they have to plan for MRCOG. Like for me, I am very late for MRCOG. I should have done it earlier when I did my FCPS one. 
MRCOG one should be done with IMM. MRCOG two should be done, and with uh, part two, MRCOG three should be prepared. Like this is the uh, process, but one needs guidance. It should come through study medic that how it can be done. Then there are many students who are working in uh, like you can say uh, who are working, who are supporting their families, and they are not able to pursue their goals. Uh, like uh, affordability issues are there. and financial issues are there so at some level we should do something for those students as the study medic it always works for those people who are uh, um, who need our assistance and guidance so that is the basic thing like we have to work for them as well so that is the main thing and we have to reach each and every level it's not like guidance is only available for lahore pakistan and no one anywhere else they don't know that how they have to go it should be available at every small city of pakistan if the students are there they should know that okay what is the uh, what is their path of success how they have to proceed further and what guidance they can achieve from study medic pakistan and study medic overall okay so basically the plan is to make sure that people do attain all the degrees or all the fellowships simultaneously without wasting much of the time and i do agree for the feasibility plan we have lots of scholarships i am not sure how many of the students are aware i would really request you guys to go through the uh, website to know more of the scholarship programs we are i always believe or rather we at study medic believe that there shouldn't be any limitation like people who have the financial issues we can always help you out guys we have always been helping them okay and also i would uh, suggest you guys to start from downloading the study medic mobile app and you would understand a panoramic picture of what you need to be doing whatever you decide we are here so this celebration is basically of course it's a joyous day we know what to be doing we know what we have achieved but we want this to be reaching you so that you know that there is a helping hand all the time irrespective of your situation you are stuck at something you are stuck at studies you are stuck at finances or you are stuck at in a very difficult situation because uh, we have helped lots and lots of students to overcome their emotional liabilities when the covid hit us very badly many people lost their real um, like very close ones it was very emotional journey for all of us i just want to tell you we don't say for the fact that it is a family it is indeed a family so through tazin definitely i'm sure tazin is somebody who is always a very charming girl along with that under her able guide is all the team the mentors are very very kind enough to always reach you guys so make use of this opportunity i just want to request all of you to achieve whatever you think do not limit yourself okay so exactly. yes and the other thing is we actually not to achieve like we have to make it easier for people like yeah. even if they are taking courses it's not difficult to take the course but it is difficult to know that who is right for us which is the right guidance for us like at when i joined one and half year back one and half year back i had no idea okay study medic pakistan is something that i can join for uh, my mrcog courses like study medic is somewhere like i can go for other courses apart from fcps for me when i did fcps at that day my feeling was like i have done everything in my life when i joined study medic then i came to know that i have done nothing i have to do a lot so that is yeah. the thing like this actually it came through you i saw you having each and every degree it was a motivation for me you are an inspiration for all of us so basically that is the reason like i feel i don't take tension of exams i feel that i will study and if i will pass it's okay if i will not pass i will uh, i will struggle again and i will try again it's okay i have i have whatever my life is this is dedicated for study and uh, for these things so i will try again no problem but i will i will in, get involved in each and everything and i will try everything Okay, so Tazin, I think we have a plan to celebrate all this. And if we are only talking, people will be yes. bored. <laughs> yes. So where is your cake? Because 
we have two cakes, one from India and the other from Pakistan. So we need to cut the cake together. <laughs> so, okay. How we can focus it? Yeah, they actually have gone for five, but we will focus it. Actually, yeah. it was like. Hmm? Tom, hold that in front. Okay, so guys, uh, we will be cutting the cake and uh, we will be eating the cake. <laughs> so, this is for Dr. Soumya. We are going for cake cutting. Yeah. If we go for cake cutting, or uh, first you do, and then we will. Do. It's okay. It's okay. What's the plan? What's the plan? Like, yeah. You start first. The uh, like, uh, you start first. Then we will. You do first. Okay. So probably you have to turn the camera this way. No, no. Turn the camera. Is it possible? One second, guys. Stop it. The uh, from your camera. This one you can show, no? From your this one we can show. Okay. Just a minute, guys. Uh, we will show we will show the cake from Maxim's this one. Yes. Can you turn the camera otherwise? Other round. In mobile you can do that, no? Okay. Okay. Please show the cake. So guys, we are cutting the cake for the celebration. Or if you can see the cake. Is uh, it no, visible? We can't see the cake. Okay, okay. One second. Okay, now we must be able to see the cake, isn't it? Can you guys see the cake now? <laughs> Webin, can anybody tell me that you have to focus on this? Can anybody yeah, yeah, we can see, we can see Maxim's cam, we can see, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. So guys, so... Shall I cut the cake, Tadji? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so all the, let all the success and victory be yours, Tazi. And of course, everybody. Okay, so congratulations. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Yes, it's your turn. Thank you. So the whole clapping is from Study Medic Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs>